Hello and welcome to this Mod First Look video. Today we're going to be looking at the Lizard TARDIS pack by Omar Tanner. This pack contains four trailers. We have the uh, TARDIS Forage Wagon, the TARDIS Water Trailer and two TARDIS Trailers. So let's get into it. Let's have a look. So in the store you'd find these in their respective categories but for convenience of the video I've just jumped down to installed mods, clicked on the mod and we get the whole selection available for us so we'll jump in first on the TARDIS loader and that is fifty thousand pound euros or dollars and some of you will remember this from fs22 where we got a lot of the TARDIS equipment so for those of us and i'm one of them sometimes that likes a little bit of convenience farming and be able to get a lot done this is a great pack for that so the the TARDIS itself comes with a selection of tyres. We've got, in the BKT, we've got wide tyres. I believe the Wetterstein. Also, we've got double standards, trailer ball singles, and Michelin singles. They're, they're quite wide tyres anyway. So then, where we come down to the magic of this pack is its capacity and silage additives. So, as a standard, 26,000 litres or 26 cubic meters capacity then if we go along we can have the XL capacity which is 260 um, <laughs> cubic meters 260,000 liters so that is a lot that's a big jump a big jump in what you can fit in here the weight stays the same horsepower stays the same so it still requires 130 horsepower even though we're going to be pulling 260,000 litres and working speed remains at 10 miles an hour which I think works out to about 16-17 kilometres per hour now we can change the rim colour at the moment in previous we stick some green on there in previous iterations we were able to change the colour of the machines whether that will be added in later on I don't know especially since we've got the um, all the colours you could dream of sort of mod going on now um but yeah with the added capacity it does cost a little bit more so it jumps to seventy two thousand, so it's an extra twenty two thousand. but this if you like a bit of convenience farming if you've got a big farm on the go this is the way to go get it done nice and easily and again we can do it without the silage additives for large and normal with silage additive there we go so next up in the store we'll have a look at the TARDIS water trailer, which is £10,000 euros or dollars, so we'll jump in on that one. And it has a uh, 7,000 litre capacity, a standard one metric tonne. And we can go to the XL capacity, which is in 200,000 litres in <laughs> capacity, which is lots. That's lots of water and fuel. So we can also, again, change the colour of our rims should we wish. And likewise, I imagine that we could get a, a color change for the rest of the body as well in the future. That's certainly something I'd like to become. Oh, and again, an extra 2000 in the price for the uh, the increased capacity. No extra weight. So next up is the Lizard TARDIS trailer. And the first one comes on the swivel dolly axle. We come with a selection of tires again. The Continentals have standard or standard two. The rest of them are all set as wide. You have the option of cover or no cover. I like to have a cover. And we can change the cover color. So we have a yellow, yellow, yellow cover on it. And we can change the rim color. Make it look beautiful. Again, fingers crossed on a on a color change for the body as well in the future and all those come with an um, extra cost for the cover so it's 1400 for the cover and my wheel setup of choice has cost me an extra so if we go back to continentals that's, that's back to base now the capacity on this one is eighteen and a half thousand liters with a 4.2 metric ton and then we can change our capacity up into the TARDIS TARDIS mode engaged XL capacity and we're up to 200,000 litres of capacity no extra weight and that costs us an extra 5,000 
So with cover capacity, we're now up to 36,400, which is really cheap for being able to pull around 20,000 liters of your crop. <laughs> Absolutely insane. And then last, by no means least, probably my favorite and my preferred is the tandem trailer. Preferred because it has the uh, the fixed trailer part and not on a, on a on a swivel axis, easier to maneuver than reverse. And again, we have a selection of tires, and these are coming in with a few more options by the looks of it. And it doesn't. Look, oh, some of the some of the wide ones are costing extra, but the the standards don't. And again, we can change the color on our top and we can change our rims. And the models, by the way, look absolutely fine. We'll be having a little closer look at the models. We can't always see it so good in this shop. So we'll have a look closer up at the details. And then we've got our normal capacity, 18.5 thousand and weight at 5.2 tons. A little bit heavier because it's got a little bit more iron on, a bit more steel. Then XL capacity, 200,000 liters, 200,000 cubic meters. And still 5.2 metric tons so let's get out and uh, have a look at these up close and personal so i think first up we're going to have a look at the lizard tardis forage wagon lovely detail on here i like to see all the nuts the bolts the screws the washers all the hoses our little safety warnings we do have chocks as well we will detach and check to see that the chocks come out and that they work Really nice model, really nicely done. Omar Tanner, I think, is a pillar of the modern community and a pillar of our farm sim community. I think she deserves a little bit more love and attention. So I am going to pop links to her website and to her uh, YouTube channel uh, in the description, along with the links to the mod, because I think she deserves a little bit more attention. She puts a lot of time in, and the late lady has like three YouTube channels. So if there's something else you might fancy, go check it out. Omar Tana is a beast, and she refers to herself as Gamer Granny, but she's pretty cool. So yeah, chocks are down. So let's uh, let's give it a run. We've got our grass already cut. We'll get this connected again. Hoses are all on. Everything's working nicely. So our grass is cut. I'll lower the head down and this is I can't remember I can't remember if I brought the TARDIS version or the regular version we'll soon see when we fill up you'd have thought I'd remembered or made sure I knew what I was doing wouldn't you but we'll get on here and we'll start to fill and again great for picking up your grass your straw your hay If you've got a lot to get, then um, yeah, TARDIS mode is definitely for you. And even if you don't want that, that, that they're a great set of um, wagons as well, just for regular configuration, standard configuration. Pick up nice, let's say work and speed is, is good. 10, 11 miles an hour, we're getting here. Getting our grass in, we'll just follow it around a little bit. And we've got no no animals at the minute, but we'll we'll show the uh, dump. Look at all that, loads of grass. But yeah, lovely wagon. And like I say, if you want convenience farming, the TARDIS option is cracking. So next up, we'll have a look at our set of trailers on the New Holland. We have the the dolly option, and on the styre we have our our fixed axle again this is generally my preference of trailer some people like the dolly i struggle with a dolly i'm not good at reversing so looking at our model again very nice we've got the chocks we know the chocks work we've tried it out already like we've got the shine on our cover there very nice good detail again and this can be linked up. We can connect a couple of these together. Or this one. And connect on the back of this one. You can link 
the, the fixed axles together. That does work. I mean, it's not as maneuverable, but it does work. I'll have a little look on this one as well. Like I say, that, that is the big difference. It's the fixed axle over the do dolly axle. And the, the wheel spread. Obviously, because we're pulling our wheels on this one are closer together at the back. Whereas they are front and back because we're steering with those as well. Again, details very nice. Really do like it. The time and effort that goes into making these mods. All of the modders deserve uh, a lot of credit for what they're doing. Especially those that are getting high quality mods out nice and early for us. Really expanding the game. So uh, a big thank you to them. So let's uh, let's get some materials in here. So we should be able to open... For me, I do that on my wheel, but for your control, that'll be wherever it is. On the file, we do have our our naughty fill point, so we'll uh, we'll give it a try. We'll chuck some materials in here. Again, I think these are the standards that I've purchased. But if you wish, you can obviously uh, get more of whatever you want. So these can take wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes sugar beet, sugar cane, wood chips, sugar beet cut, silage, grass, hay, straw, manure, stones, mineral feed, olives, solid fertilizer, grapes, road salt, pig food, seeds, lime, snow, forage, chaff, little mixed ration, and they will also take rice and long grain rice. I just don't have that in my, uh, in my naughty cell point. So we shall fill up so you can see we get a fill plane. And then we'll just head around the corner. And we will... Have an empty out the back. And I do believe... We can toggle, if I can remember. Because I do tend to forget this. Our tip side under you. There it is. So we are tip side grain door. So we'll see if we can get that out. Give ourselves a bit of space. There we go. So we tip a little out of there. And then we can go tip side left. And we'll go again for tip side right. Now I've got a mess to clear up. As you see, fully functioning, really nice. Like I say, if you've got a lot of crops to get in, maybe the TARDIS option is the one for you. If not, the Lizard, it's still a really nice trailer. Beautiful detail. And we'll quickly go for it again with the TARDIS tandem. Show it all love. So we've got the, uh, the workable cover. And this will hold the same crop types. I'll get this under. And this time we'll grab something different. Let's get some sugar beet. And again, we'll just dump it on the ground. So we can see the unload. So then we can try and do grain door. I'm not sure if beets come out the grain door. Oh, they do. See, I wasn't sure if that was a thing. That looks cool, actually. That's going to be my new preferred way of doing it. And then we can go left side. And right side. There we go. Beautiful. Another lovely trailer. Like I say, these can be linked up and tandemed. Hence why it's called tandem. Beautiful, beautiful trailer. And last up in this pack is the water trailer or fuel trailer. This will take any liquid that is in game at the at the point of release. Um, you never know if, if we get more liquids added in game. Well, my time might update this so that I can carry those as well. 
models are good like that. Um, but yeah, another lovely model. Plenty of detail here on the pump, which is cool. The hoses are all there. The 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 metallic tone on the side there, that's nice as well. Nice touch. Everything's looking really nice. A lot, I'm liking the blemishes in the materials. I think I've said this a few times in a few of these first looks. I'm liking the blemishes in the materials that we're getting. So, for our demonstration, we have the smaller version because it'll take you forever to sit here and fill up with, you know, 200,000 litres of fuel. So I think... I think this gas station will let me buy petrol. If I get close enough. So the problem I was having is I was trying to put fuel in a trailer that doesn't take fuel. It's a water trailer. It'll take <laughs> milk, it'll take water, it'll take herbicide, and it will take uh, liquid fertilizer. There we go. Sorry, Emma. I didn't read. <laughs> but there we go. It does work. It was me just being ignorant, as is often the case. But luckily, we have a water tower down on the farm, so we, uh, so we get to do it. As you can see, it fills perfectly fine, and again... It will take your milk types, it will take water, it will take herbicide, it will take liquid fertiliser. This is not for carrying fuel about. That was bad on me. But there we have it, the Lizard Tardis pack by Omar Tan. And like I say, go check out her socials, go check out her YouTube channel, show her some love. These are great mods, she does great work. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.